Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I have this makeup look right here. I wanted to do a more fall-y uh, makeup look and I came up with this. Um, I mentioned it in the video, but I am no makeup artist. I just love playing with makeup. And you can see that I like try to like cut my crease, but as long as I keep practicing, I'll get the hang of doing a cut crease. Uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this look. I am like super excited because it came out really, really good. Like I really like the colors and you're going to see how I rave about that shadow that I have in the middle. You'll know which shadow I'm talking about. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there. And if you want to learn how I got this look right here, then just keep on watching. I'm drinking a little bit of coffee because I need a little bit of help waking up. I'm going to be using a Morphe palette for today and this is the car passing by. This is the Morphe 3502 palette and um, it's a beautiful palette. As you can see, my black shadow broke. So yeah, but this is the palette we're going to be using today. It has a lot of warm tones. Um, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. It is a really nice palette if you are into really warm tones. For transition color, I'm going to be taking the color Universal and applying that on my crease. And I'm just using a really fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M533. So I have two shifts at work. I usually work in the morning for a couple hours and then I go back in the afternoon. And I, when I work morning program, um, I would leave the house like around 6.15 and um, it would be like super dark outside. And now with this new like um, time change, it's like really bright outside. At 5.45 it's already super bright. Like I've been waking up um, before my alarm, which it has never ever happened. <laughs> I've been waking up um, before my alarm and it's been, it's been nice. Do you guys like my cup? It says on fleek. I'm like obsessed with these um, Ray Dunn mug, uh, mugs. And I bought a new coffee flavor. Um, it's the donut shop. I buy it at Walmart. It's a donut shop, but it has like coconut mocha, I think. Um, and uh, my favorite creamer is the, um, I always forget the brand, but it's the caramel macchiato one. And it's a good combo. I like it. It's a good combo. So now I'm going to move on with a Morphe M573 and I'm going to move on to a, a little bit warmer tone color and I'm going to take a little bit of that spice shadow and I'm going to apply it on top of Universal. And I'm just going to take my Sigma E40. This is a clean brush, so I'm just going to blend those two a little bit more. I just realized that my camera was not filming when I did this step. So um, I'm actually going to go in again because uh, it looks a little bit patchy, so I want to add a little bit more color. But I took the color Chestnut and applied it on a Morphe. That's the wrong, wrong one. So I took a Morphe M433 and I applied the color Chestnut and applied it on top of Universal and Spice. And I'm just using windshield motions like this to blend the color in our crease. What I'm doing right now is first I place the color on my outer crease and I'm just using circular motions to blend it and then using windshield motions to blend it in my crease. I want to deepen my crease a little bit so I think I'm going to take a Sigma E25 brush and I'm going to take the color uh, Brave from that palette so the reveal for the James Charles palette came out and I have decided that I'm going to be picking the palette I'm going to buy it because it looks so pretty um, I don't know if you guys saw my green eyes tutorial and I'll link it up here in a little card. Um, 
And I was using the Morphe uh, 25B, I believe is the palette, the, car the colorful one that they discontinued because obviously this palette was going to uh, be released with James Charles. And um, they uh, that palette, it wasn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. Um, it was a little bit patchy and like in the middle of that tutorial I like had to change palettes because it was getting way too patchy for my liking. So uh, I saw that I watched James Charles review, uh, reveal video and it looks so pretty. Um, I like that he included like a couple of like neutral colors so that you're able to like start your transitions and start your eye, um, your eye looks and then um, being able to um, use your color for colors and the whole rainbow shades are so pretty the shades I mean the shades the uh, swatches look really really nice and expect some looks with that palette because it looks amazing so I'm just gonna take a combination of universal and um, spice with a morphe m513 and I'm just gonna blend my outer crease up here just so it looks blended and as you can see, for, for my eyes, I have a lot of, like, um, lid, like, space. And as you can see, sometimes I can go a little bit overboard, but, you know, it's makeup. You wash it at the end of the day. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just playing with makeup. So, um, yeah. And we're learning. Makeup, you learn with makeup, right? Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to try and do a, a little bit of a cut crease. Um... I actually tried it once or twice and failed miserably, but we're just going to try and cut my crease in the middle of um, my lid. And I'm just going to bring it down because I'm going to apply like a gold color here. So I kind of want to have... Um, I, wanted, I want the color to actually like be a little bit brighter. So I'm just applying a little bit of concealer so that shade comes out a little bit richer. And to do this, I'm using a brush from Morphe M43, M421. And I'm just taking my concealer. I just wanna do that and I'm gonna place the color on top of there. And I'm gently pulling my eye here just a little bit so that I can have, I can sort of have more control on my lid. We'll see how this comes out. Um, okay, so now that I have that placed, um, from that same Morphe 3502 palette, I'm going to take the color, I think it's flipped around. Uh, the color pure which is a gold really nice gold color and I'm just gonna place that on top of that now I'm gonna take a Morphe M506 and take the color brave and I'm gonna blend my edges right here Just so it's not obviously the harsh line of um, the gold color. And taking that as well on my inner corner. And it's not perfect, but we'll keep learning, we'll keep learning. I'm going to take a little bit of that Brave shade and apply it with this tiny brush Morphe M5062 and then I'm just going to take a little bit and blend it on my crease as well so I'm just going to take this Colourpop uh, Super Shock what is this called? the Colourpop Supernova Shadow in the color Rush Hour and applying it on top of that pure gold color and 
and going with that Morphe M506 and that um, braid color and blending my edges. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my face. And I'm going to first moisturize with the First Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. For foundation, I'm going to be taking my Fenty Beauty foundation and in the color 210. And I'm just using a beauty blender. And I'm going to do a little bit of cream contouring and I'm going to take the... Uh, Colourpop No Filter Stick Foundation in the shade 161 um, N and I'm going to apply a little bit on my under eye this is the Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light sand. And then to set everything, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. So now I'm going to take my Wet and, Wet and Wild Contour Palette and I'm going to be using my Morphe Y9. And I'm just going to contour. Sleep airplane. Every time I film. For my lower lash line, I'm going to take a combination of Universal and Spice on the Morphe M506. Oh, it has a bunch of fallout. No. No. That same brush, I'm going to take the color Chestnut. And now I'm going to take my Sigma E40 and just blend that lower lash line. To highlight my inner corner, I'm just going to take a little bit of, of that pure color and apply it on my inner corner just a tiny bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have my lashes and mascara and for lashes I use the Salon Perfect 614s which are like my favorite lashes ever, like natural lashes. Um, I didn't want to go for like my favorite goddess uh, cocoa lashes just because I wanted more of the lashes to be like subtle so you guys can actually like kind of see like the eye look. I mean, like I said, it's not perfect, but I actually really, really like how this came out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish my face and then I'll finish my lips. I'm going to apply a blush and this is the Becca uh, Mineral Blush in the color Wild Honey. And as you can see, I had pan on this blush. This is one of my favorite blushes ever. And it is, it's so pretty and so like natural. It goes with a lot of different like looks. I'm going to highlight my face and you guys already know what highlight I'm going to use. The Maybelline um, Molten Gold. Yeah, Molten. Hey, I got it right. Uh, molten Gold by Maybelline. And I'm having trouble grabbing my things here. Um, and I'm just going to play with the Morphe M551. 551? Yeah, 501 <laughs> um, brush. I'm bringing a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. Oh my god, like I can bathe in this highlight. It's so pretty. Okay, so for lips, I want to do something really natural, very like nudie and nudie. I want to do something very natural on my lips. So I'm going to take the Buxom Lip Foundation. I tried looking for them online. I 
for a second I thought my camera was not recording. Um, I tried looking for them online and I couldn't find them and I'm pretty sure Buxton discontinued these and they were like one of my favorite lips, uh, like lipsticks ever. Um, but I mean you can use anything they have at home so I'm just going to take a nude lip um, and apply that to my lips. Um, I think I'm going to use, no I'm not going to use lip liner. See I don't use lip liner, like I just, I'm not used to, I'm trying to grab a wipey. Um, I'm not used to like using lip liner, so I'm just gonna grab a wipey and remove my foundation. So pretty. I'm so sad that they actually discontinued this. I'm just gonna set my brows with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Oh, I actually forgot to um, highlight my brow bone. This is a Morphe A E18, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that pure shade. And apply it on my brow bone. It's a really subtle, like, gold color. And my final step, I'm going to set everything with the Morphe setting spray. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. As always, all of the products that I used in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!